Yes, it's your girl, Pastor Kim, a.k.a. Agape Love, a.k.a. The Keto Queen. And I'm here to talk to you about my weight loss journey. And as you can see from the title, I feel like I'm doing everything wrong because I'm not making any progress, okay? So let's start with the intermittent fasting. Initially, it seemed to be doing great, okay? You have that window where you don't eat, and then you eat in that particular window. Mine was from like 2 to 7.30. You eat in that window, and then that's it. Excuse me. You eat in that window, and then that's it. Well, I think that coupled with me not eating any meat for Lent, because I'm still not eating any meat, I've been doing great although lately I have been craving oh my gosh I have been craving meat so bad okay so sidebar I digress let me tell you what I did I I just like had a craving for a hot dog like I really wanted like a hot dog so I went to this place that we have here called the cookout which is like it gives you fresh barbecue flavored food okay so they you know fresh like you know, grill type food. So I ordered um, a hot dog with everything, with everything, you know, onions, relish, ketchup, mustard, the works. And then I ordered cheese curds, which are the little fried cheese balls. So, so I took the hot dog off and when I, you know, when I got home, took the hot dog off and filled it with cheese curds. Now, my um, arrow, of course, is the bread. The hot dog bun was about 21 carbs. But let me tell you, that was the best non-hot dog hot dog. Oh my gosh. I felt like I had been on an island and had been starving like forever. That hot dog with the cheese curds was so, so, so good. It was so good. So anyway, so I think by not eating meat, you end up eating more carbs unintentionally. It's not my intention to eat a lot of carbs, but I'm still eating a lot of carbs because I sort of think, well, I'm not eating meat. I'm doing intermittent fasting. I only have a window of five hours from 2.30 to 7.30. I can pretty much eat with what I want because normally I would be eating all around. Mm-mm, not working, not working. Then one of my daughters comes and tells me, Mom, you shouldn't be chewing gum because as some of you know, I will chew gum in between my hunger spouts. So if I'm hungry, I'll chew a piece of gum, blah, blah, blah. Well, she goes, you know, a nutritionist, specialist, whatever-ish from whatever college university of nutrition and health says that when you chew, you um, cause the enzymes in your stomach to get ready to uh, receive food and, you know, process it. So by your chewing and not, you know, eating anything and not literally swallowing, you're causing those acids to come in your stomach, which can could cause bloating and a host of other things. I'm like, well, you know what? You can't win for losing, you know? So, of course, then you hear, of course, the most important meal of the day is breakfast. You have to eat breakfast to get your system going. And when I was seeing a nutritionist, I did, that's the first thing she was saying. You know, you eat breakfast and you eat some, um, some type of fiber for breakfast that gets your, gets your whole system going. Fiber and water will get your system going. All of it to be true. Um, So I, so basically, I stopped the intermittent fasting. I haven't stopped. I'm still not eating meat. I'm going to wait until Easter, and um, I'm going to do that. Don't ask me how I'm doing it. I just am. But I stopped the intermittent fasting because, like I said, just eating from 2:30 to 7:30. I'm just not losing any weight. You know, it's the same, like we used to say back in the day, the same old, same old. It's the same thing happens. So it's just that endless, 
endless torture. I need to be able to jumpstart this weight loss. And admittedly, y'all, admittedly, I am still snacking. I'm still, I'm trying to find better snacks. I did find some keto snacks. Um, I didn't do a video on them. I wanted to. I'll just have to buy some more and do a video. But, um, yeah, I'm still, that's the downside. I'm trying to count calories even when I snack. Trying to find snacks that are not heavily in calories. Or even if I do snack, try not to, you know, eat a substantial amount so that I can, you know, count those calories. But, you know, they take up a lot. I mean, calories and carbs are the killers. I mean, they just, it's just unbelievable. And so, um, you know, I'm just at my wit's end. I'm just, I'm at my wit's end. I tried to do some exercise. You know, the weather is breaking. I may try to walk again. But, um, you know, I just feel like, you know, it's kind of late in the game. I'm just having a moment. Y'all bear with me. You know, because I told you before, one of my knees, I have to get that um, injection in my knee, the cortisol. So I'm like, you know, now you're going to try to just jump on the exercise bandwagon when your knees are ready to give out. It's just like, oh, oh, oh. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. I don't care what anybody says. It's difficult. Okay. And if I could just get past the 10 pound mark, if I could just jumpstart my body to get past that mark, I think I will be okay. So, um, one of my daughters is on this, I'm not going to call it a pineapple diet, but she is still juicing and now incorporating pineapples because they're supposed to really be big on um, reducing belly fat. I still use apple cider vinegar. Um, I try to use it every day. I put a little uh, capful, maybe two capfuls in my apple juice and sip on that for most of the day and um, that's supposed to cut your appetite like I said before I'll bring um, some fruit to tangerines if I'm hungry now that I'm not doing the intermittent fasting I'm trying to go back to what the nutritionist originally said that once you get up try to eat within the hour of the time that you get up and make sure you know you eat something nutritional like something with fiber you know and drink water so that's where I am right now. Um, I am determined. I just have to stop cheating. <laughs> stop snacking. Because I won't, you know, I don't necessarily have to have, like, food. And I know, you know, people may think, well, just because a person is big, it means they eat a lot. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. They may snack a lot. They may not eat a lot of food food. They just may not be eating a lot of healthy food. And that is the truth, you know. I could just as easy, um, you know, if I'm hungry, I have to learn how to just eat better. That's the that's the main thing. And um, the addiction of salt and sweet is real. It is just a valid. It's just as much of an addiction as any drug out there. It is very, very real. So uh, just trying to overcome that without using a lot of drugs. You know, I have pills to take to cut the appetite and all of that. But sometimes I don't like the way they make me feel. Now, is that the trade-off? Is that the trade-off? Like, okay, well, guess what? You need to feel this kind of way until you can get this weight off. I don't know. I wish I did. I, I wish I knew because, you know, somebody might be saying, well, you should just take the pills anyway. doesn't matter how you feel. doesn't matter if your mouth is dry. You know, whatever. Whatever you're saying that you feel, just take it anyway. And that, you know, that might be true. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll try the pills again this week. And let you guys know, you know, I'm only doing the video of my weight loss every two weeks, but maybe I'll try the pills again 
this week, maybe that'll be a, a jump start. Um, you just have to know your body and, and know what's going on with your body. But I don't feel like the intermittent fasting has paid off. Initially, I thought it was working. But, you know, your mind plays tricks on you. Yes, it does. And so, like I said, I'm not eating meat, so it's okay to have some mashed potatoes. And I'm only eating, you know, between 2 and 7.30. But that may not be the case. I am still using my fitness pal to try to track, even if I go over. I had myself on, um, it was 1,800 calories. I reduced it to 1,500 so that I will have that 300 calorie window, you know. Since the mind plays tricks on you, I have to play tricks on my mind. That's what I have to do. So if I move the 1,800 calorie allotment down to 1,500 and I go over, then I'm like, well, you know, you know, 1,800 is not I go over 1,800. Well, sometimes I do. Even if I do, I still record it. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I still put it into my fitness pal. So I'm trying to see, you know, what I ate that day and what I shouldn't eat, you know, for the next day. So that's what's happening with me and my weight loss journey. You know, um, I don't know, people. I don't know. I just don't know. I want to say I feel bad, but I do and I don't because I'm not a person to just torture myself. It's just like, okay, tomorrow's another day. Try it again. You know, but I really need to get past. I really need to jump start and, and get a 10 pound jump start. I feel like if I could do that, I would be on my way because, you know, I've, I've, I've gained nothing by, you know, losing three, gaining four, losing two, gaining three. It's just a seesaw that never ends. But I'm still going to keep trying. I'm still going to keep doing my keto recipes. And I'm going to use keto and a low-carb diet as my ticket out. As my ticket out. The race is not given to the swift or the strong. It's to those that endure. And I'm going to endure until I get a significant amount of weight off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell someone about the weight loss journey. Tell someone about um, Keto Queen's channel. The, the struggle is real. And so if you want to talk about it, if you want to be real about it, yes, I do try out keto recipes, but I'm not going to pretend like everything is going so great. You know, it's causing me to lose weight phenomenally. Maybe at one point it will. You know, again, for those of you who might be new here, you know, when I was going strong on that keto, it's different for different um, women of different ages. When I was going strong on the keto, my um, cholesterol went up. I don't even have uh, sugar, but my sugar peaked, you know, because I was eating a lot of fruit and, and it's good. You just got to figure out what works for you in accordance with whatever recipes or diets that you're trying. You have to figure out what works for you. And so that's what I'm trying to do, but I'm definitely not going to give up. Thank you once again for your support and your concern. And we're gonna make it. Let's talk about it. We're gonna make it. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you're going through with your weight loss journey. All right, and remember, every single day is a new beginning. All right, bye-bye.